Hello everyone, I'm back. I'm doing vlogs again. So this is just a short little like welcome back vlog. I'm um, showing like how I do my hair here. So I already washed my hair and I blow dried it. I have naturally curly hair, but I washed it and then I blow dried it as straight as it could go. And I wanted to show you guys this part because I just learned how to curl my hair with a curling iron. It's so hard to curl my hair and get it to actually stay. Um, if I use rollers, um, uh, before in the past I would straighten it and then I would curl it after I straightened it and the curls never stay. Like they would always fall the same day, like within 30 minutes, it would just be completely fallen. But I learned that if you blow dry your hair as straight and as smooth as you can get it and then, you know, just go ahead and curl it and don't straighten and then curl, um, then the curls will actually stay for that day and they won't fall until, you know, the next day or later. So I wanted to show you this because it took me so long to figure this out and I was so happy once I did because I was starting to get tired of the like super straight hair and I just wanted to change things up a little bit. All right, so now I'm making breakfast for my husband. I'm sorry, I don't know if you heard that, but that was my dog coughing. She's like coughing in the background right now, but don't worry, like she's okay. She just has a cough, but I'm making breakfast for my husband and this is how he likes his oatmeal. Um, I know it looks kind of gross, but this is how he likes to do it. And I added the country crock because he is wanting to bulk up. Um, now I'm doing my makeup. And I've started to actually mix my foundation with my moisturizer and then apply it on my face. I feel like it just gives me a better finish, especially because like the climate where I live is really like cold and dry and it really just dries out my face. I'm sorry about my dog barking like, but I mean not barking but coughing. Anyways, um, and then um, in this clip you're going to see that I and baking you can see all the powder so I know that people don't really bake anymore but I've decided to go back to baking just because I was like I don't know why I ever stopped um, so I decided to just go back to baking just to you know see if I liked it and to see if I wanted to continue doing it again and I really really like the results so um, I'm back to baking now So now I am getting some studying done. I'm actually um, taking a phlebotomy course. And so this is actually what I spent the majority of my day doing. I have a lot to catch up on. Um, I don't even know if I'll make it before like my due dates um, for this course, but this is just me taking notes. Um, I do things the old fashioned way. I like to write things down. I like to have a notebook. I know a lot of people like to just like do everything on their like phone or whatever, but I gotta do things the old fashioned way if I actually want to learn and like, you know, take in the information. So now um, I'm about to do my nails. I've always wanted to show how to do my nails because I don't get my nails done anymore. I actually just do press-ons and so um, my press-ons actually last for two weeks or more and people always ask me how I get my press-ons to last so these press-ons are just some press-ons that I found on Amazon I'm just sorting them out and seeing um, if I can find any that fit my fingers because I actually already used um, press-ons from this kit um, so I was hoping that I would have some left over that I can use, but in this clip you'll see that I couldn't find um, enough to fit on my nails. So I didn't actually end up using these. 
Um, I actually ended up using some custom um, press-ons and like when you use custom handmade press-ons the process for putting those on is very different from like the ones that you can just buy at the store or just you know like online somewhere the process is extremely different there are way less steps involved in applying the press-ons that are custom fitted to you so the next time I do my nails and the next time like if I'm using like the like generic press-ons I'll show you guys like in depth on how I do that but in this video since I'm using the custom ones I don't have to do a lot of the steps that I would normally do but I still want to show you and I do want to give some tips on how to get your press-ons to stay for like two weeks or more so you have to prep your nail properly. These are the press-ons, like my custom fitted ones. So you have to prep your nail properly. You have to, um, you know, remove like any like dead skin around your nails. You need to push your cuticles back. You need to cut your nail, your natural nails short and you need to buff and file the top of your nail you don't have to use an electric file you can just use a manual one but um, you need to file your nail um, and get it so that it's not shiny anymore and you have to either use um, like rubbing alcohol um, alcohol pad um, you can even you dip your nails in nail polish remover or you can get like a nail dehydrator you want to get your nails um, filed and buffed and dried out you don't want like your natural oils or anything like that to be on there when you apply your press-ons because they're not gonna stay and then when you actually get around to applying the press-on to your nail um, I personally like to add a little bit of glue onto the press-on and then a little bit of glue onto my actual nail and the way that I apply it is that I try to apply it as close to the cuticle as I possibly can. And then on top of that, um, I apply it kind of like the same way that you would apply a, um, a screen protector. So you want to apply it in such a way so that there's no air bubbles. So instead of just like putting it like directly on top of the nail, you kind of want to roll it onto the nail the same way that you would apply a screen protector on your phone or on your tablet um, and then so with the generic press-on nails a huge part of the reason why they come off and they break is because they're way too thin and they don't fit your actual nails so I do have a process that I go through to actually make the nail a lot thicker and to get it so that it fits a lot better onto my nail bed and onto my like well not onto my nail bed but just like onto my nail and make it fit with my shape I actually use um, acrylic powder and glue to do that and I'll just have to show you in a different video how I do that I don't have to do that with the custom nails because they're handmade they're like fitted to my nail so I don't have to like do all that extra stuff um, and then like once you have on your nails, um, a very important thing is that you do want to be just a little bit more careful with your press-ons than you are with um, like regular nails. So there are certain things that people with that have long nails will do differently um, just to make sure that their nails don't like break or anything. So you definitely want to be careful when you have your press-on nails. But what's more important is that you don't or you try to reduce the amount of oils and lotions and stuff that get around your nails and your cuticles because the oils is what's going to um, make the nails fall off. Um, it's, it's not water. Water is not going to make them fall off. Soap is not going to make them fall off. It's oil. So um, some people like to put oil around their cuticle after they do their nails. If you're doing press-ons, do not do that. Do not put any oil on your cuticles don't put any oil on there no lotion like if you're gonna put lotion um, on yourself on your hands on your body or any body oils 
you can do that, but make sure that you're applying your lotion with the palm of your hand and not with your fingers. You really want to reduce getting oils and stuff like that, um, you know, around your nails. Um, try to eat with like forks and knives and stuff. Um, you don't want to get like the oil and the grease from your food to get around your nail because that will also contribute to your nails coming off um, very early. So yeah, a lot of people assume that like, oh, they fall off after you, um, you know, wash your hands and get in the shower and stuff like that. But that's not the case. It's, it's the oil that will remove the glue and then also not applying the nails properly and not prepping your nails properly will also cause them to fall off. So if you prep, apply, and like take care of them properly they will not come off they will be very sturdy and um, sometimes they will actually be a little bit difficult to come off so with these um, custom nails that I have I got them from um, Cookie Nailed It and so it came with the kit it came with the alcohol pads it came with the little file the little buffer it came with the cuticle pusher um, I use a liquid cuticle remover um, to remove like excess like skin and stuff. I push my cuticles back. I felt my nails and right now you are seeing me wipe my nails down with the alcohol pad. And like I said, if you don't have that, or if you don't have rubbing alcohol, you can actually just dip your nails in, um, acetone and like that'll help as well. If you have a nail dehydrator, that's probably even better. Um, like I said before, it's important that you cut your nails down short. So this is the glue that I'm using. Um, another reason why nails come off is because um, sometimes the glue is just not strong enough. This particular glue came with this kit and I don't know what kind of glue this is. It doesn't have like an actual brand name on it, but this glue is extremely strong. It's like the strongest nail glue that I've ever used. Um, so yeah, and I'm just poking a hole in it because it, it kind of got like clogged up. But as you can see, I'm putting some glue onto the nail, putting some glue onto my nail, and then um, I'm applying it. And I kind of blocked um, myself applying it, but um, when I apply it to my other nails, you'll be able to see like how I actually laid it down onto my nail. That makes a huge difference because if you have like those air bubbles in there, um, then that'll make the nail fall off quicker as well. And I press it down. And then also I make sure that I, like usually when I do my nails, I do it right before bed because that gives me the entire night for my nails to like, you know, bind together. Um, and it makes sure that like I'm not, you know, accidentally doing something that'll mess them up or get them to pop off before they're like fully set. So that's why I like to do them um, right before bed. But yeah, so this glue is really great. Um, as far as like the actual name brand glue, I really like the Kiss glue that comes with their press on nail kits. So I do use the Kiss nail glue and then there's a brush on glue that I like to use as well. Not all glue works the same. I've never used actual super glue, but I'm pretty sure that super glue works just as well. I feel like super glue and nail glue is very similar. Um, I feel like it might even be like almost the same, but this is me applying the custom nails. And um, another thing I wanted to mention is that um, I have used these nails before. This is the second time that I'm using these nails. And one thing that I'm nervous about in applying these nails is that I don't know if they're going to stick as well as they did the first time because there's still glue and stuff from the last time I used it and I cannot, you know, for the life of me get it off. So I don't know if they'll stay as long, but I'm going to try anyway, because like I said, the other nails, um, I just didn't have enough of them to be able to apply them. Um, but yeah, so that is how my I do my nails. Um, thank you for watching this vlog and I'll see you guys next time.